Hi everyone, it's Danielle with Dr. Cami Parsa's office. We are going to be demonstrating the Cosmolon at home application video. So this is the Cosmolon MD pack and this is going to be the perfect how to video for anyone who is out of town or applying at home. Here's everything that you need to know about your appeal process. So inside the Cosmolon MD pack, there's the Cosmolon home pack. This has everything that you need for the weeks after your peel and protecting your skin. The most important part is the actual chemical peel. This is the actual chemical peel, so Cosmolon 1 and the cleansing solution. These are the first steps to applying your peel. After your peel, you're going to be using the secondary cream, which is Cosmolon 2. This is going to drive your results further for the two weeks after the actual application. To get started, I want to ensure that we review our setup so that you have all the tools needed to have a flawless Cosmolon application. So the first step would actually be to clean your skin. You can wash your face and then prep with the blue solution that we have here. What I have on my setup is a pair of gloves so that we don't have any of these strong chemicals residually on our hands. You're going to have a tongue depressor, one long Q-tip, Ideally, we'll have here a headband to keep our hair out of the chemical peel, some spare gauze for cleaning up any stray peel, and the actual components of the chemical peel itself. So first, we're going to be applying our chemical peel. So we're going to use our gloves here. And if you are at home and your hair is kind of all over the place, you just want to hold it back, then you'll go ahead and use the headband. Mine is actually nice and pulled back, so I'm not going to use this. The first step is going to be cleansing our skin with the skin prep solution. To apply, you're going to take the gauze, fold it in half, and then fold it one more time. From here, you have a nice small and controlled gauze. You can saturate it and then you're ready to go. You wanna make sure that it is not too drippy, that it's going to drip into your eyes. When we cleanse the skin, we're going to actually start on the cheek. You don't wanna start up top because you don't wanna have anything dripping down. So I'm going to be cleaning the skin in one direction and you can close your eyes during this. The vapors from the cleanser will burn a little bit. This has a lot of alcohol in it. So you're gonna see that I go through two different directions here. This step is really important. You want to make sure that you are removing all of the oils from your skin. The oils create a barrier. So the fewer oils that are on your skin, the drier that it is, and I'm just feeling my way through here, the drier your skin is, the more effective your chemical peel will be. So you wanna make sure that you're getting to the crevices of your nose, down the bridge, over your lip, of course, across the jawline. So a few tips for when you're prepping your skin. The solution is strong, so you can close your eyes to avoid some of the burning from the vapors. It is totally normal, so anticipate that. You can even hold a small handheld fan or have a pamphlet ready to fan the face to help to dissolve those vapors. So now that our skin is all prepped and ready to go, we can start by applying our chemical peel. This is Cosmolon 1, so you wanna double check that you are using the right jar. I already started to remove the the safety seal, so we take that out. This is what it's going to look like. We have a nice light brown, creamy texture. It's going to change a little bit when you apply this to the skin. It is normal and totally okay. So I am going to start by scooping up a, quite a bit onto my tongue depressor and start to apply. The most important things to note is that Cosmolon should be applied to the full face. You don't wanna leave any areas missed. We'll start from the hairline and work our way down. The places that you don't want to apply Cosmolon is past the brow, so we'll avoid covering the brow. We don't want to put it any higher than the bony rim of the orbit. So where you feel the ridge here, you don't want to advance the peel any higher. You want to ensure that you come out to the hairline on all areas underneath the jawline and over the lip, nose, and nostrils. So I always start by applying on the cheeks. Starting on the cheeks gives you a good idea of how the peel feels during application. As you can see, I am going for a nice thick layer and I wanna be pretty consistent throughout the whole face and I'm being very consistent with my application. So I'm carrying down the chemical peel throughout my lower face, underneath my jaw, which is so important. We don't wanna have any areas of um, strong demarcation from where we've treated and not treated. And this part's pretty quick. You just apply all throughout nice and evenly. Same thing, you want to get close to the lips but not touching the pink. 
So I'm nearing the end of my application. As you can see, the, the peel is pretty consistent in thickness all throughout. And there's certain areas that I'm gonna go back and touch up. It is safe to get into the crevices of the nose here with this type of peel. It does not sting, so you shouldn't be expecting any kind of burning sensation immediately upon application. This is also where our Q-tip is going to come into play. Like I said, you wanna get really nice and close to your hairline. Make sure that everything is really even. And you can see that I'm getting close above the brows, but not covering the brow with the actual peel. And this is a good time to switch over to the Q-tip for application to be a little bit more precise or to clean up some areas. So I'm just gonna swap over here to my Q-tip and make sure that my application is really smooth and even. You can get all of these areas you wanna make sure that you target all your areas of concern. For me, it's the upper lip. And so as long as I'm not on these sensitive areas, it's perfectly fine. Because this is going to be on the skin for so many hours, you wanna make sure that you're applying at the right time in your schedule that day. All right, guys, so what you see here is that my peel is complete. It is very even in its application. It is all the way from my hairline to my brows, avoiding the upper lids, down the nose, the nasal ala, and my jawline. So there are no missed areas. The very sensitive skin is avoided. I also have a tendency to smoothen the ridge of application around the eyes and feather out the application on the neck. Those are some of my little tips and tricks. Now, what can you expect after the application? Remember that you want to set a timer for the amount of time that your provider determined is specific for you. So once your timer is set, the things that you would expect after treatment, your skin is really not going to tingle. There might be a very mild sensation, but it's not going to be strong. You'll start to notice any changes into your skin upon removing the mask, which you will do with lukewarm water and just very gentle circles, massaging the mask off and then wiping gently with a clean towel. At that point, you may notice that your skin is a little bit red. It might be a little bit swollen. You may feel a little bit of a stinging sensation. That's all normal. Then you're going to start following the skincare instructions that your provider gave you, what to apply, when and so forth. Another tip since sometimes once we put a chemical peel on our face we realize when we get itchy keep your little q-tip. If you do have an itch like I do right now you're gonna use the back side and just poke the area. The reason I say to do it this way is because if you were to wipe it or smear it with your fingers it's not going to go back the way it was at first application. So make sure you use the little point and just dab as needed. So this is the final version of our Cosmon application. I do hope that you found this helpful Helpful. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. You can comment them below. My name is Danielle Stark, physician assistant. Thanks for watching. These are the items that are coming in your Cosmolon home pack. So this is the secondary cream. It's a larger jar than Cosmolon 1, and this is going to be something that you apply onto your skin in a very thin layer, either morning and night, only at night or every other night, depending on what your provider specified for you. In the pack, you also are going to be getting the Melon Recovery, which is a moisturizer, and the Pigment Control Mesoprotect Sunscreen. This is a slightly tinted sunscreen that looks great on the skin and a very good hydrator. These are going to be products that are very important for calming your skin and protecting it. Remember that during this entire peel process, you want to avoid sun exposure for a solid two weeks, and at that point be very cautious as you start to incorporate small amounts of sun exposure with sun protection.